on a scale of one to 10, how good of a job do you do at showing up for yourself? Do you feel like you can actually rely on yourself? Do you feel confident that if you're going through a tough time, you can pull yourself out of that? Um, are you there for yourself? Uh, and do you like really show up and provide yourself the patience and grace that you deserve? Maybe, just maybe, it's time for you to become your biggest ally. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and the topic today is show up fully for yourself. So why is it tough for, for people to actually do this and show up for themselves? Well, <laughs> we've been taught our whole lives not to. We're conditioned otherwise. So it makes us have this big guilty feeling. And we don't know how to do it because we weren't modeled it. Our mom didn't show up for herself. Our dad didn't show up for his self. Um, and then it gets worse and worse, you know, as generations go back. So we just didn't have examples. And the other reason is because we feel obligated all the time. Okay. We've bred this like weird sense of guilt into society where we're obligated to be constantly contributing to other people, but God forbid we put any of that energy into ourselves. Well, here's some quotes. If you want to change your life, learn how to show up for yourself unknown. And you can't be anything for anyone else without first being enough for yourself unknown. So how good are you at truly showing up for yourself? And how could you level up this skill? Oh, this is such a good topic. I love this topic. Here's three ways, three ways to better show up for yourself. Number one, you've got to actually check in with yourself often, provide some quiet space and some peace and some quiet when you aren't running around with your head cut off, blah, 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 right? And ask yourself, what do you need? And I'm pretty sure your heart will answer for you, okay? So if you don't ask, you're not gonna get an answer. Number two, listen to your body. When we don't take time to ask ourselves, your body is still going to send you messages. Um, in the form of all kinds of things, back aches, neck aches, stomach aches, headaches, migraines, you know, weight gain, lethargy, all of those things. And unfortunately, those signs and signals when we're not taking time for ourselves to ask what we need, those things can add up to disease, dis ease. Okay. That's when they get really yucky is disease comes from not showing up for ourselves. And number three, drop the guilt. Retrain yourself to really understand that you can only truly give to others in a full and authentic way if your cup is full. Give yourself permission, give your friends permission, give your family permission to fill their cup first. And if we start all giving permission for that, then we've done some reconditioning. All right, circling around, show up fully for yourself. And which one of those three tips can you start today? All right, here's your intention for this video. I choose to show up for myself daily. Yes, yes you do. Thanks for joining me today for some growth means the world to me that you show up and watch these short videos. Please remember that there are awesome healing meditations and, and hundreds of more short videos over on YouTube at Sage Robinson Miller. I just ask that you please like and share and subscribe so that we can keep growing that community so other people have resources that are free and easy to access. Love you.